What's up, ballers? It is Friday. That means it's Flashback Friday, and we're doing this Friday a box of 91-92 Skybox Basketball. We're looking for that guy right there. Hopefully we get some MJ PSA 10 worthy cards. Even Magic would be a pretty good one to get. This is a big box. I think there's 36 packs in here. Yep, 36 packs, 15 cards per pack. So we got a lot to open. So we're not going to waste a lot of time. We're going to get right to it. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, click that subscribe button. Tap the bell for notifications so you get notified every time I post a video, which is all the time. I think this is video number four for this week, if I'm not mistaken. Did a lot of posting this week. We'll be back with some new stuff next week. We got encased basketball hobby. We also got um, contenders draft picks. How the heck do you open this thing? No, we'll just rip it. Contenders draft picks hobby as well. Uh, we'll be doing all that next week. We got more flashback fight stuff coming. A lot of 92, 93, series two, tops, hoops, Fleer. Looking for more Shaq rookies. Uh, we'll see how this break goes. Uh, we might split this up into two videos, but if we're doing good on time, we might just go ahead and rip everything. These packs might not take too long. So here's your base card. This is Michael Williams. There's the front and there's the back. And this card is destroyed. <laughs> so let's hope if we pull an MJ, he doesn't look like that. Kurt Rambis. James Worthy, Sydney Green, Otis Thorpe. Ooh, oh, I saw Chicago Bull, but that's Bill Cartwright. Mark Akers, Michael Cage. DC, Derek Coleman, Jim Less. Another James Worthy and Sydney Green. So we got some doubles in the same pack. I think only that first card looked in pretty bad shape. The rest looked okay. So again, these. Just like with a lot of these older products, you know, a lot of these cards are not really worth anything unless you get something in PSA 10 condition. Uh, a lot of these are kind of jacked up. Look at those corners and edges. Hakeem. Doc Rivers. What the heck is this? 100 years of basketball. Do you imagine if WNBA players still wore that today? <laughs> That's kind of a funny card. I'll leave that out. Yeah, this, I don't think, even though there's a lot of cards here, we'll try and do this pretty quickly. That way I don't have to split this up into two different videos. Still might be kind of a long one, a little longer than normal. But we should be able to get this through, uh, get through this pretty quickly. Carl Malone. Another one of these centennial cards. 100 years of basketball. Chris Mullen. This guy's the best mullet ever. Check out his 91, 92 upper deck cards. Nate McMillan. Dennis Scott, all rookie team. Ala Abdel Nabi, Chris Dudley, Michael Adams, Randolph Keys, Mark Bryant, Wayman Tisdale, Kelly Chapuka, Spud Anthony Webb. I like when they try getting serious and writing Anthony instead of just calling him Spud Webb. Hey, there's magic. Probably not grade worthy. Kind of a jacked up corner there on the top right. And in the bottom right, actually. But that's okay. Well, not really. It would be nice if it, if it was in perfect condition. Rodman. Billy Thompson. Muggsy Bogues. Another one. They write Muggsy, or they write Tyrone instead of calling him Muggsy. Dana Barros. Kenny the Jet Smith and Thunder Dan Marley. And players actually had nicknames back then. Kenny the Jet Smith, Thunder Dan Marley. Most players 
nowadays don't really have nicknames like that. John Paxson. GQ, Kevin Willis and Dominique Wilkins. Look at that old school Mercedes in the back with the windshield wipers over the headlights. Baller. Vinny, the microwave Johnson. Clyde Drexler. So again, no big inserts really that we're looking for in here. Really no, no big rookies that I can think of either. It's mostly MJ or bust for the most part. I know, uh, I think Haas of Cards said he busted a box of this and had like 50 cards. Oh, there we go. At least we got MJ on this card. It's not MJ base card, but that's a pretty cool card. Bulls starting five. It's hard to determine what's a hit and what's not, especially before you really get a chance to look at the condition of the cards. Pippen, we'll put him over here just in case that's good enough to be graded. Scott Skiles, Steve Kerr. Hakeem, man, every Hakeem card is just disgusting. A giant line going through that one. Clyde, John Williams. So no MJ yet. Although I'd rather get one MJ that's in really good condition as opposed to like three or four that have a bunch of corner and edge and surface issues. So I'm hoping I can just get one that's worth grading. Because if we can hit a PSA 10, this is a cheap box. I mean, these, these boxes do not go for much money. I think I paid like 40 or 45 bucks for this one, something like that, something really cheap. So honestly, even a PSA 9, MJ would probably come pretty close to paying for the whole box. But a PSA 10 would be very nice. Scott Skiles. So I'm seeing a lot of doubles already. It's a pretty big set. So even with 36 packs and 15 cards per pack, you're not necessarily guaranteed to get every card in the set. You probably will. Um, but we've already gotten a bunch of doubles. Avery Johnson, there's MJ number one. This is not the base card. Per 48 minutes, point leader. Looks to be in pretty good condition at first glance. So again, we have so much to open. I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time dissecting uh, the condition of every single card that I open here. Obviously, I'll take a closer look. And if anything was grade worthy, that probably means you'll see it in a future PSA reveal video that we do on the channel here. I've done many of those and we'll continue to do them. Manu Bowl has cards get graded and come back. This base stack is gonna be massive by the end of this video. We're almost 10 minutes in, but we're making good pace. So I think we're going to go ahead and just do the whole box here. These cards are, packs are easy to open. None of the cards are stuck together. So we're making really good time. We'll keep going. There's that GQ card again, Gary Payton. It's a, I think this is his second year. Yeah, his rookie year was the year before. Um, a lot of times back in the day, you wouldn't get a rookie card of a player until the year after their rookie season. Uh, but right around this time, like very late 80s, very early 90s is when they started putting uh, rookie cards in of players in their actual rookie year and not the year after. So I think like in 89, 90 hoops, you had 
rookie rookie cards of David Robinson, even though that was his actual first year in the league. Horace Grant, Chicago Bull, that's not Michael Jordan. Steal to turnover ratio leader. I love the, these weird stat cards they used to put in back then. Derek Coleman, all rookie team. Oh, D Brown. <laughs> I'm leaving this card out. I love it. That's the. Uh... What an awesome photo to put on a card. This is from the slam dunk contest that year. The no look dunk where he pumped up his shoes in between every dunk. I'm sure he got paid a lot of money by Reebok to do that. Detlef Shrimp, he was such a great player, way ahead of his time. Father of Steph, Chris Mullen, I got a bunch of those. Cliff Robinson, rest in peace, recently passed away a few months ago. Run TMC. High scoring trio. It's kind of that's a cool card. Mulland, Mitch Richmond, Tim Hardaway. It's a shame they couldn't uh, keep that team together. See what they could have done in the future. Antoine Carr again. John Paxson again. I think I've gotten like three or four John Paxson cards already. Peyton, Sherman Douglas. This is like the same pack from a few packs ago. Come on. Hakeem. Man, that corner's jacked up too. I've not gotten a Hakeem card yet. That looked that looked good. Hersey Hawkins, Jeff Martin. Dana Barrows, Kenny Smith, Dan Marley. There's Reggie, Hall of Famer. Probably getting close to halfway through the whole box. There's Sean Kemp. This is his second year card, but got another big line going through that one as well. John Paxson, I think I have about five John Paxson cards. Irvin Magic Johnson. Checklist. Bill Lambeer. Bill Lambeer, the enforcer of those late 80s Pistons title teams. There's another Magic. Maybe that one will be grade worthy. Bill Lambert, all the same cards again. Reggie Theus, Dwayne Coswell. Man, we have still haven't hit the uh, the Jordan base card. That's kind of surprising with as much as we've opened so far. Look at that giant stack of base cards. I would be really surprised if we open an entire box. It's Kenny Smith for like the fourth time, and Dan Marley. Always right next to each other. Scotty Brooks. Barkley. Sir Charles. I don't know. Go in our good player stack. Horace Grant. Mitch Richmond. Roy Tarpley, there's Scotty Pippen again. Scott Skiles, Steve Kerr, Bo Kimball, Hakeem again. Nick Anderson and Greg Kite. All right, where are you? MJ, where, are, where is this Jordan base card that we can't seem to find? Bill Cartwright. Bill 
Cartwright, not the Chicago Bull we're looking for. Another Magic card, that's the GQ. Pressy, Andy Toulson, Bernard King is a good player. All right, what do we got left? Right, we got about 12 packs to go. So already more than halfway. We'll probably be around the 20 minute mark, maybe a little less when we finish this video. Again, still going. Uh, there's Patrick Ewing, haven't seen him yet. Maybe we'd see it. Since we hit one card we haven't seen yet, maybe we'll hit the Jordan in here since we haven't seen him yet. Nope. Jared, Chris Mullen, I've seen these guys already come out. Sleepy Floyd. Greg Hodges, man, where are you? Jordan, where is Michael Jordan? Another Chicago Bull, Dennis Hobson. That's not Michael Jordan. The Admiral, David Robinson. <laughs> Joe Barry Carroll. Famously nicknamed Joe Barely Cares by Peter Vesey. Vladi Divats. Nick Anderson, Chucky Brown, Reggie again. Reggie, Hala Abdel Nabi, Chris Dudley. Same guys over and over again. John Paxson. Man, why couldn't this have been the Michael Jordan box and not the John Paxson box? I run TMC card again. Terry Catledge. David Robinson again, Joe Barely Cares, T. Brown, Craig Hodges, Chris Jackson, Mahmoud Abdul Rauf, Larry Nance, Sidney Moncrief, Rick Mahorn. I haven't seen this one yet with that old, old, old basketball on it. Scott Brooks. All right, we are down to our last six packs, and I've yet to see the Michael Jordan base card. Purdue, Rick Smiths, John Sally, all the same guys in the same pack, Dennis Scott, Sean Elliott, Lance Blanks. Is it Blanks or Banks? Lance Blanks. Same guys, Will Purdue, Rick Smith, Kevin McHale, all the same guys we got in the last box. Boy Tarpley, there's Scotty Pippen. All right, guys, 
we are down to four packs left <laughs> and we've yet we've yet all i want is that just give it to me we got four packs left to do it come on send some uh send some luck and some love this way Stockton We got the championship starting five again, but no base MJ. Ralph Sampson, what did he put for the Kings? I don't even remember that. Ewing. I feel like I've gotten four of every card except we've gotten zero Michael Jordan. John Paxson, we've got that like six times. <laughs> Two more packs to go. This is unbelievable if we don't get this Jordan card. Is that D Brown card that I like? Oh my God. Last pack. Is the Jordan sitting in the very last pack? I don't know. Probably not. Nope. I've seen all these guys already. Carl Malone, we just got all these same guys in the last pack we opened. Vlade. Blackman, Nick Anderson. Wow, 36 packs, 15 cards per pack. A stack of base cards that is off the camera and about to tip over. Zero base Jordan cards, unbelievable. We got two of these Chicago Bulls starting team. Got a bunch of Pippins, Robinson, Magic, GQ, Hakeem, another Pippin. We only got one Barkley. That was the only Barkley we got. Got a couple Magics. A run TMC card, that D Brown again. We did get this. This was the only Jordan card that we got with him on him on it by himself. Another Pippin. The Bull starting team again. And another Magic. So that's it. Can't believe we did a whole box with no base Jordans. I think when we did this 9091 Fleer box, we got like three of these in just that one box. Uh, unfortunately, none of these were grade worthy, so that's not great, but wow, that's surprising. All right, well, I think I'm done doing those super old boxes just full of base cards, uh, unless we're looking for some good rookies, which was why we have the tops, the hoops, and the Fleer still coming. So Shaq's, uh, any, any Shaq PSA 10 from those is worth big bucks. Uh, last time I did a Fleer 92, 93 Series 2 box, we actually pulled two of them that both gemmed. Uh, we, we pulled more than two, but I, two of them got PSA 10. So that was really successful. So hopefully we have better luck with our remainder Flashback Friday boxes. But in any case, thanks for watching this, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video.